He'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a gain of 13 and a very solid opening play for this offense. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy set the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll set up to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Now, this defense for the Eagles, they were very strong in the win last week over the Giants. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball, or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback upright. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now back to throw. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. So from ready. Philadelphia territory ready, now, ready. here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. They'll look to throw. That's complete to Mooney. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This one swung out to Montgomery. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. And the Bears are going to be set up with a first and goal. It's a nice run there. Gets him down to the six-yard line. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point, because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, OK, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Ready? Oh, how about this on first and goal? And he is going to lose yardage here. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. No blue. Here's a second and seven. And it's caught. Touchdown, Bears! Building confidence after a loss. That's a good way to do it. The loss last game, but first drive here in this one, cashing it in for six. And yeah, they can talk all they want about putting a loss behind them. I think that drive there did more than any conversation they had, don't you think? That's exactly right. Puts that to bed. And this is what they said all week long. A lot of things they needed to do differently. Whatever they said appears to have worked. Santos with the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14.
Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 14 yard line. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And that'll be incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Throwing his hurts. He rifles one that's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and this one will be brought back to the 22. Well, if you go by the numbers, you'll find as the temperature goes down, so does the passing efficiency. And now that we're in December, even the routine throws are going to be harder for the quarterbacks. And this way, it winds up getting picked off. Now a give running left with Montgomery. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. So this helps to start a drive. After the penalty, it'll be first and five. He'll look to throw. Throw left side. There's London. Touchdown! Drake London from 17 yards out. And the Bears are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. Charles, it is pretty rare that we see a team build this kind of lead in the opening quarter. And, man, they seem to be clicking on all three phases right there. The defense doing its part with the pick six. It's absolutely been the definition of a start that you would pick for yourself and for your team, right? And I have a feeling that they just want to stay in this zone. What's truly incredible about this start is they can add on a couple more scores. This one could legitimately be over in the second quarter. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result. Because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter. And a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They go play action with Hurts. Eluding the pressure. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Roquan Smith make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Not the start to this one that any quarterback would want or envision. Remember, he had the pick six, and here he ends up on his backside. And you have to wonder to yourself, okay, after throwing the pick six, did he get too careful with the football and not deliver downfield and take that sack? They've got to make sure that he's really into this game. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they're still looking to fourth down now. How many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. <laughs> and that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain still a ways to go, though. throw for it with Hurts. And this is caught. That's Watkins. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they wind up getting 13 there on fourth down. The conversion is successful with a sizable gain of 13 and the decision to go for it looks like a smart one. Ready. 21 nothing. our score after one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And down to the 36-yard line here. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. From the 36, Hurts. Pressure, and he's taken down. A big sack. Sheldon Richardson breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. This offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. Hurts fumbles it, and this is picked up by the Bears. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Well, we know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A good pick up there, 21 yards. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. And the Eagles are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. They've got a pretty comfortable lead right now, but maybe a little too careless with the football that time for the rookie. I think the key word there is comfortable. And there's two schools of thought on it. With that type of a lead, maybe you can take a few more chances because you have a cushion. Others will tell you, don't eat up the cushion with careless play. He'll learn to ride that line as he moves on in his career. Back to throw now in his own end zone. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. 
So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll get him a little space here up to the five-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throw left side complete. That's Scott. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one goes for eight yards. It's been a very one-sided game so far. They gotta change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. Okay, break. So a little more space to work with here from the 13 on first and 10. Up the middle they go with Sanders. Despite some tough running, he's still wrangled down shy of the 15. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Hurts finding Goddard there, first okay, down, ready. Philadelphia. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. He'll buy some time right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The Eagles on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Well, he's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Let's go now. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. So on fourth down, they decided to go with a run-pass option, a good decision. And the run can get you there, but the pass gets you there quicker. Nice decision, picks up a first down. On first and 10, it's Sanders. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Down three scores already. This game was really in danger of getting away from them. They needed a drive like that, especially on the road. Not only to calm themselves, but maybe tamp down the crowd a little bit because everything was against them. As you noted, this game could have gotten away from them very easily, but instead, the calming drive, now they have a little bit more confidence. Okay, we're back in it. All right, we're ready to go. That was impressive. And the defense now needs to reciprocate. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and take it. for their next drive, the Bears offense. There's really no reason to change what they've been doing to this point. 
They've got the lead. They've looked good this first half. I agree with you totally, and a lot of coordinators, play callers feel exactly the same way. Until you stop what I'm doing, why should I make any changes? But there are a few that kind of outguess themselves or try to outguess the opponent, and they try to consider what they would do to take things away and go to those plays right away. It'll be fun to watch when they get to the second half to see which way they go. Yeah, but to this point, it certainly hasn't been broke. We'll see if they try to fix anything. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Martin, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Open man is Pettis. It's complete. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Flush to his right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. Okay, ready? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw again. Over the middle, he finds Pettis complete. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. They'll set up a throw. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And now they come up and spike it to stop the clock. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, 
efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Burt sets up to throw it. And that's complete to Sanders. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Here we go, here we Working go. with a second and three. Hurts. And that is intercepted, or was it? Wait, they'll say no, no interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Flushed out, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the side. Looks like another empty possession here, partner, and I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I, I think you're exactly right. they got to find some answers quickly. The Eagles send out their punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Bears take over. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They're going to look to throw. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. They'll drop to throw. And he's going to go down. Back in his own five-yard line. It's a sack. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. Here's Michael Pilardi now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, 
It has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. So the completion good for just three, and that'll make it second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. From the 44, Hurts. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. That's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Hurts. He's got the hookup with Conley. Oh, the gain of three on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And no return here. This one's going inside the 15 to the 12-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears' offense. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. got a yard here's second and nine they'll look to throw he'll get that complete to his tight end command and he's taken down but not before he gets this across the 25 yard line second catch for him today and it'll wind up a first down sticks, whatever you want to call it. Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. A go. good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Red, He'll look to throw. Got him. And a loose football. And yeah, it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's got a well, number one on the list of things not to do when you're up three scores in the third, that right there, give the football away. I love when you speak like that. You know how doctors talk about taking the Hippocratic Oath, first do no harm? You just did the football Cratic one right there. Don't give the ball away when you have a lead that you can lock this game down with. 106 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Now an option play on second down. 
And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. starting field position a real threat this is third and long throwing his hurts he's got his target Chris Conley touchdown Eagles Chris Conley his first touchdown on the year and the Eagles have got it back to a two score game here in the fourth Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. offense ready to go for their next drive. They've got the two-score lead. It looked though they fumbled last possession, led to a touchdown. So while things look good here at this stage in the fourth, they got to be careful. Well, they definitely do because they've actually brought them back into it, haven't they? They've given them hope once again. Their purpose on this drive, squash that hope one more time. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Ready. And he is going to lose yardage here. Brandon Graham, great pursuit there, getting the tackle for loss. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Back to throw here. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. The lessons will continue of this rookie. He's got to learn how to read situations just a little bit better. Down far behind the line. He's got to find a way to get rid of the football and not take the sack whether it's with his legs or just throwing it away. This one swung out to Montgomery. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. They get a big amount back, 18 yards, but they'll still look at a fourth down now. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down, that's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. 
It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. I think we call that season's greetings right there. He came up, pow, knocked him for a loss. Here's Hurts to throw. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. That is first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. They go play action with Hurts. And this one is incomplete. Give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. He'll drop to throw. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, you know me. Whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try to get those yards a safer way. A throw over the middle taken in. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 40. A good pick up there, 22. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to need a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. It's a second down run with Sanders. They find some open field here. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 123 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. Now a first and 10 at the 11. He'll look to throw. Touchdown! Quez Watkins, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Eagles go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Elliott good with a PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. 
And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. Call it a gain of six on the play, and now we've got a third and three. Here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Chicago. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Oh, the return is Scott. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Bears in the nickel. No, wait, they're in the dime. Six DBs out there on third. Could play an exotic coverage. Escaping the pressure right. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. He got 29 yards that time. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understand where they are in the field? Here we go, Scott! Nick Back to throw. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. shot they'll look to throw going deep here for Watkins and did he catch it he did a touchdown one of the most improbable finishes in recent history they've won it on the final throw that was an excellent come from behind victory